This past weekend, Mayasuma U-22 went down in Japan, and it tied with Best of the West 2 Misfire for the largest event to take place this weekend. However, just like that tournament, which we covered on Monday, Mayasuma U-22 was not a major, being classified as a B-plus tier, otherwise known as a national. But that doesn't mean this tournament was not notable. In fact, it has maybe the most notable events from this entire past weekend of Smash. And today, we'll be going over all of that by covering the top 8 from Mayasuma U22. From insane losers runs to crazy breakouts, let's go over all of this craziness by starting with losers 8s, those sets being Raru vs Hurt and Ashimo vs Reno. Let's go ahead and start with Ashimo and Reno, shall we? Ashimo came into the tournament as the 4th seed, so why is Ashimo in losers already? Well, it's funny you asked, because Ashimo started off the weekend by losing the first set of the entire tournament. Yeah, you heard me right. In what was undoubtedly the biggest upset of the tournament, the 260th seed, Sora, who means Aegis, not Sora, defeated Ashimo 2-1. This win was good for an upset factor of 13, which is just one off from being tied for the largest upset in Ultimate history. The upset factor 14s, in case you're wondering, is Yam in Action over Proto Banham, Big Duck Hunt Fan over Tweak, and Takaberry over Injelly. Anyways, Ashimo was now in losers after only the first set of the tournament, and proceeded to go on the greatest losers run of maybe the entire year so far. Firstly, Ashimo made it out of pools, going game 3 against Ku but avoiding the upset. Now in top 96, Ashimo first defeated Kojita Gohan 3-0, before having another close call, going game 5 against Falco main Shupi, who we've covered in multiple videos before. After clutching that set out, Ashimo defeated Kazuya main Rocky 3-1, advancing into top 32. Once here, Ashimo defeated Palutena main Crete in a close game 5 set, as well as both Shiryuki and Alice, both in 3-1 victories. Lastly, Ashimo defeated Kananabe in one final close game 5 set, in order to make it into top 8 through loser's side, after the greatest loser's run I've seen in a long while. Reno, by contrast, had a much more straightforward path to top 8. Coming into Mayasuma U22 as the 20th seed, which surprisingly is not the lowest seed to make top 8, Reno started off the weekend by sweeping pools flawlessly, before moving into top 96 and defeating Rocky 3-0, defeating Maruyaka Harajika, who was actually on an insane run of their own, placing 13th as the 132nd seed after defeating Sora, the player who upset Ashimo. Either way, Reno was now in winner's quarterfinals, but once here would lose to Doramigi 3-1 in Byleth Minmin. But I guess it evens out, because Reno dropped into losers and defeated Rarikakusu 3-1 in Byleth DK, in order to make it into top 8 through loser's side, to go up against Ashimo. <laughs> ここ、あ、<笑> これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ
るサコリさあ、取れるわそれはうわー、空中城を見事差し込み And in the end, Ashimo defeated Reno 3 1, continuing the loser's run of a lifetime and eliminating Reno at 7th place as the 20th seed, with Reno continuing to fight the good fight as the best solo byleth in the world. Now it's time to see the other side of loser's eighths Raru vs. Hurt. Wait a minute, both of those players are top 3 seeds. What the heck happened here? Well, let's go find out. Raru, previously known as Raru Kun, came into the tournament as the second seed, starting off the weekend by sweeping pools without dropping a game. However, after moving into top 96, Raru suffered a game 5 loss at the hands of Aegis, who mains Terry, not Aegis, and is the best solo Terry main in the world. Raru dropped into losers, first defeating Mokumoku 3 0, before going on a big losers run, defeating both Lapi and Fui, both in 3 1 victories, as well as Maroyaka Harajika, who we mentioned earlier, 3 0. Lastly, Raru got one more 3 1 win over Gorioka, making it into top 8 through losers' side. Hurt came into Mayasuma U22 as the third seed, starting off the weekend by sweeping pools flawlessly to make top 96. Once there, however, Hurt would lose in a big upset loss to Miru, Japan's best solo Kazuya main, 3 1, dropping into losers and first defeating Shirasu 3 0. After this, Hurt got through losers, defeating Trigger and Kuhaku, both in 3 0 victories, as well as defeating both Snow and Ryuo, both in 3 1s, and both of which being impressive wins, in order to make it into top 8 through losers' side, to go up. Against Raru. よしよしというか。しょうがないですね。結構大丈夫ですけど。おお、いけます。いけます。おお、いけます。いけます。おお、いけます。おお、いけます。おお、いけます。おお、いけます。おお、いけます。おお、いけます。おお、いけます。おお
追いかぶせるのはいいっすダイブ展開左右空中と白クラックシュートを捉えたのはダッシュアタックの発生前を空中前で潰しますジャストシュートスタスマッシュを見事スタックニーに並びますイエスが 117% の嘘でしょその場所に引っ込んで体育だけかかとぎりそんこの角度ギリギリ竹を使いますとはいえ苦しい展開が続く 153.2% この崖新旋風が見える動き出しを捉えたのはデビルツイッター手の上にいるのはいつジャストシールドコアスからのバーンナックル決定ですトップにいいし財布くるくるこれは帰れません竹を掴んで嫌な距離財布が当たるとダイブ展開デビルフィックルこれは繋いで繋いでデビルウィング And ultimately, Miru defeated Aegis 3 0 moving into winner's finals as the 35th seed and sending Aegis down into loser's quarters for another Shoto showdown against Ashimo. But before we get to that, we have to see the other side of winner's semis Miya vs. Doramigi. Miya, coming into the tournament as the first seed, is the only one of the top four seeds to not suffer an early upset. As expected, Miya swept pools without dropping a single game, and afterward would defeat Money Right 3 0 Gachipi in a close call game 5 set. And lastly, Kananabe 3 0 making winner's side top 8. Doramigi came into Mayasuma U22 as the fifth seed, starting off the weekend by sweeping pools flawlessly before moving on in bracket and defeating Trigger 3 0 Fui in a close game 5 set, and lastly, Reno 3 1, in order to make it into winner's side top 8 to go up against Miya. Chef will guard the suspects, Kami de Kuzusuna Miya. Kuzusi, Mazin Jenaka, Dai Jobe. アドスキーカロー出しましたが、見上げちなアドスキーはありません。ファイヤー暴れてから、チタスマッシュでの着地狩り。ここでクリスター暴れを通します。集中しろ。ファイヤーがり読みのウエスマッシュから、相手の。ユートラルジャンプ回避、上手すぎて、二本目のアーム、あおやつさばけばいいんですね。空中で、空中で。空中、後ろ。ジャストシールド相手の動きを完全に読み切ったのはミヤトップ3位置復帰が空中した2回目の駆けつかまり絶対に許さないウエスマウエスマ圧倒的体力差で突き放すのはミヤシェフシェフ神と相打ち掴んでいるのはドラ右後ろ投げボトリングを追い出してリソースを吐かしてまだ一歩固めてファイヤー緊急脱出弱弱弱弱弱,弱ダメージが伸びる 91.7% 危ないぞ2つ取るり待ってからメガボルトで重ねてから飛んで上のゲ変更できているさすがに上方がスキルがウェビーよりも強いのは鍵集中したで撃墜ですザキさんに学園の HKF 素晴らしい判断でしたジャンプからの様子に捉えたるのはメガボルトフックソシ空中しろこれはなんとか帰ってくるお互い素晴らしい復帰ルートだ当て投げつないで空へ空へさすます横に飛んでこのベクトルは撃墜And in the end, Miya defeated Doramigi 3 1, moving into winner's finals against Miru and sending Doramigi down into loser's quarterfinals in order to face off against Hurt. But we're actually not going to start with that set. Instead, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Shoto Showdown of Ashimo vs. Aegis first. ここ
急に感。おお、変態。どこでやっちゃってて今の。うまいこんな点滅したゴーサインが出た瞬間に決めての勝利権を当ててあそこ接が決めきたしかしオーライゾおーここで飛び込むかいやー深みにきましたねおーおーおーあーなるほどセビを見た後おっとセビ飛ぶ気が変わらない横スマッシュを仕掛けたこれよって火力が出たがおっと出るか外が合いらすぎるいいですねベクル変更できてますあしかしやはり勝利を決めたのかあのねこれね、リスト2もそうだったんですけど、しかし、このバスケは強いですからね、そうなんですよね、ね代を絡めたコンボは、リュウもね、めちゃめちゃ強いんでね、さあ、お互い殴り合いというところですが、今度は足の選手が両回りになれて、一番ミスになりました、ちょっと前を待って、はい、これは、はい、これは、はい、これは、はい、これは、これは、これは、これは、ですかねおっとこれお見事でつないできた上野からのパワーランクこれが足の選手にいやこれなんですよ難しい弱ですなるほどこれなんですよ面白いように組みしていきますよねいやもうこの辺りは本当に、はいまあ、どこでジャストシュートだったり強いおっとここでもリリース選手のそうですね進行賞それでもプレッシャーがかかるいやいいなさあここどうだ仕掛け出しのさあ最後これを許さないお見事だ接戦でしたがやはり決めきる力があった And ultimately, Ashimo defeated Aegis 3 1, moving on in bracket and eliminating Aegis at fifth place as the 31st seed. Ashimo now sat comfortably in losers' semi finals. And to see who else would make it here, let's take a look at the other side of losers' quarters Dormigi vs. Hurt. <laughs> And in a close game 5 set, Hurt defeated Dormigi 3 2, moving on in bracket and eliminating Dormigi at 5th place as the 5th seed. Hurt now moved on into losers' semi finals in order to go up against Ashimo. さあ、このピットコンセプト、お互いが、さて、上手。いや、もう、しゃべりつくまたに聞いてるな。
さあ崖おっと怖いところさあいきなり位置が出ってチャンスはハートかしかみよけたこわさくわきあなんか早い勝負にした試合モグリコンカスさあ来たウエスマーサイウエスマーで反撃お見事さあしかし結構壁と攻めてきますよねあそこ選手結構壊しとかで固められる瞬間が多いクウエソリュウマイなんかわからなくなってきたクウエ94さあどうだハートあるのかおお釣っている<笑>さあ釣っっててていいる動はけないこれはそうですね、肩先ではありますね、今ね、ーーさっきしてね、ねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねね And in the end, Ashimo defeated Hurt 3 0, moving on in bracket and eliminating Hurt at fourth place as the third seed. Ashimo, after a career defining loser's run, now sat in loser's finals, awaiting the resolution of winner's finals Mia vs. Miru. ここ。And ultimately, Mia defeated Miru 3 1, moving into grand finals from winner's side and sending Miru down into loser's finals in order for us to get our final Shoto showdown against Ashimo. マイスツマアンダー22対してはユーガーがね先に使った小足で結構立ち回りいけるのでこんな感じで触る回数はやっぱり足の側によりますねおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーおーこれは、ファーズいいんじゃないのもう、ファーズいいんじゃないのもう、ファーズいいんじゃないのもう、ファーズいいんじゃないのもう、ファーズいいんじゃないのもう、ファーズいいんじゃないのもう、ファーズいい
ていう当たり方空上で助かるし飛び込みだし少し力の変更相手の読みを外すうっとの曲がりにいや強気にてうーっとかいさえ飛びかなってまさにで上に続けてラインさえ押してしまえばやはり勝てやセービングで耐えてうわだーやばい<笑>差し返しよと攻撃せーそしてなんか相手のテイリアを狙ってくる空中前でもミルカリアこっちの特殊コンボの精度も高いんですが空気応変な一発ゲットと技の当て方がうまいなという印象がありますそうです足元にいれば飛び込み来るぞおーっとやはり彼はこのカマスがこもった空中指導がよく似合うちょっと強制して<laughs> and in the end, Miru defeated Ashimo 3 1, moving on in bracket and eliminating Ashimo at third place as the fourth seed. After Ashimo had lost the first set of the entire tournament, they had gone on the greatest losers run of the year so far and still managed to outplace their original seeding. What a legend! Miru now moved into grand finals from loser's side in order to get one more shot against Mia and at the crown of Mayasuma U22. ミル選手は勝つやとなりましたまあですよまずはフックスでかい取り切ってくれてレーパー戦闘ワンタンキルもう単位置がやはりミーア選手のうまく、まあ、ジャンプで引くっていうのも今の崖のシェフ待ちがかなり刺さっているように見える142パーうん捕まえきれないおーあーヒットストップ伸びてお<笑>なるほど確認できちゃいましたね新たな新鮮ミルカズヤまずは一つやはりこの台の長さって結構長い方がミルカズヤとしてやりやすそうに見えるんですよねおっと<笑>やられたらやり返す最大のかあ,あのゴロンって回るやつですよカズヤがあ,、はいはいはい、あれね背中でゴロンって回るやつ、はい、なるほどもう空中前ヒットから掴んで空中前ね。And ultimately, Mia defeated Miru 3 1 again, eliminating Miru at second place as the 35th seed, and with Mia winning Mayasuma U22 as the first seed. This tournament was insane, no way around it. Three Shoto players all making insane runs, with Aegis and Miru doing it through winners and Ashimo doing it through losers. And Miru is the breakout star from this tournament, no question. I've covered players like Aegis and Reno in videos before, but most people watching probably didn't even know who Miru was. Well, you do now, dear viewers, and there's a good chance that Miru will continue to make their name known with the devilishly good Kazuya Mishima. That's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons Seth Laster, Fosco33, Logan S, Persipom, Wawa, Pissa Sinister, Happy Feet, Oshiman, MistyBot, and my Tutu patrons Iltis, Diamond Blaze, and Ben L. Additionally, shout out my YouTube members Dicho Jr., Defective, Boston R, Goddess B, Kirby Fan, Nexus, Okosoko, and my Tutu members Mike G, Wu Tang Forever, and Storm Troyper. Lastly, extra special thanks to my tier 3 supporters Fat Blizzard, who says dogs are better than cats, Avadun, who says Mr. Rice is the go to smash content, and Iltis, who says go watch the Rivals 2 videos. If you want to support me using any of these methods, links are in the description down below. Also, I want to give one last sincere thanks to Let Me Fly for their continued support of my channel. Link to their Twitter page is also in the description. 
don't miss tomorrow's video. But until then, I've been your surmise, and thank you all so very much for watching.